Two weeks ago, we broadcast this shocking footage of a teenager locked in a seclusion, locked in seclusion in a mental health hospital, able to touch their parent only through a door hatch. Today, that unit in Northamptonshire has been put into special measures following a damning report by the Care Quality Commission, which says aspects of the care there are uncaring and unsafe. We've also reported on the case of Ayla Haynes, who is being cared for in a different part of St Andrews. She swallowed a toothbrush a year ago, which is still inside her. Let's talk to our reporter, Noel Phillips, who's been covering this story for our programme for months now. So, why has the CQC, Noel, placed this organisation into special measures, or this unit, I should say? Well, firstly, Victoria, this morning's report will come as no surprise to the many families we've been speaking to over the last several months and who've been raising concerns about the way in which their loved ones are being cared for in facilities run by St Andrews across the country. Now, the footage that we saw a few moments ago uh, with a teenager who was uh, treated in the adolescent services at St Andrews uh, was passed on to us by concerned parents. And they say their only contact uh, with their child when they visited the unit over a period of many months was through the hatch in that door. And uh, the footage, which we're hoping to show you in a few moments, was filmed uh, inside the charity's Northamptonshire Hospital uh, on the adolescent ward, uh, which was the focus of the health regulator's inspection or report. And they visited the ward back in April, back in April and March of this year, and of this morning, as you've mentioned, published their report. And it's quite a worrying picture for children and teenagers being held in this ward. It found of the 15 seclusion rooms, and these are rooms which should only be used when a patient is in extreme distress or a patient, for example, is you know, perhaps a risk to themselves or members of staff, a patient will be placed in these rooms. And 11 of these rooms were, were found to be unsafe and lacked basic furnitures such as beds, pillows and blankets, meaning patients had to sleep on the floor. Yeah. The way in which staff treated patients was uncaring, undignified and disrespectful. They point to one example where a female patient had to have her clothes changed whilst a male member of staff was present. And it goes on to say staff did not follow the best practice when using seclusion and a long-term segregation. And as we been investigating on this programme, seclusion has been a big concern mm. to the government. They've ordered a review which the CQC is currently um, um, looking into and they've ordered the, that the way in which seclusion and long-term segregation are used in hospitals, mental health hospitals across the country, needs to be looked at because it's not appropriate. And I was able to visit a seclusion room, as, we, as you mentioned, uh, in, at St Andrew's Hospital just a month ago. And I spoke to the chief executive about the way in which seclusion was used, mainly on the adolescent ward, and, and obviously put you know, concerns to her about allegations of patients being kept in these isolated rooms for long periods of time. And here's what she had to say. In some seclusion rooms for certain types of patients, there is the opportunity for food or other um, uh, uh, things that patients might need to be given to them through an opening in the door, which means that the door itself doesn't have to be opened. The use of seclusion rooms is only ever used as an emergency response. Andrews have said in a statement this morning, we deeply regret that we're falling below the standards we aim to uphold and those expected by the CQC. And it's worth pointing out 90% of St Andrews referrals are from the NHS. That's where they make a bulk of their money from. And the NHS England have also commented this morning saying if St Andrews are going to continue to look after NHS funded patients, they are going to have to improve their services quickly. Okay. Thank you very much, Noel. Thank you. Noel Phillips reporting. Right, let's carry on 